Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Taste Test right here on youtube.com slash Rex, where every Saturday you can watch me try the weird, the wonderful, and or the limited edition. If that sounds like fun, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos, and you can keep up on all the latest and greatest in Taste Test. Would you like to see something specific on the show? Scroll down a little bit further, leave it down in the comment section below what it is, where to find it, you might see it in the future today. We have a couple of interesting ciders to try, alcoholic ciders. I do these from time to time, but they usually are like a pretty specific subsection of like a subsection uh, situation. I'm not a big, like, not a big alcohol drinker, though I don't think that the uh, amount of content I've put up would like lead people to believe that. People probably think that I drink more than I actually do, I guess would be kind of kind of the average, but I found a couple that I thought were very interesting and I wanted to, uh, and I wanted to try them. If you're curious, cause I've done the, um, the fall releases for Angry Orchard over the last couple of years, the, uh, fall hall or whatever fancy name they have for it this year all has, um, stuff that I have already tried. It brought back the baked apple pie, which is a fantastic one. I'm a huge fan of that one. I would love it if they actually would just release like that in a six pack, um, because I, I would like that individually. I don't need the other three that are in there that like the crisp apples fine. I think the cherry ones in there, which is not my favorite. And it might be like the blueberry rosé, but, um, yeah, it just angry orchard. You're not watching this video, I'm sure. But if you are, if you are, please, please, please for fall, just put out. In addition to the fall haul, either come up with new flavors or put out the baked apple pie in a six pack by itself. Because I would love that. Speaking of uh, baked apple pie. Anyway, ah, man, I had it and then I threw myself off and then I threw myself off again with that uh, with that tangent. So stick with me here. So if, if you are curious about the Angry Orchard stuff, because that is the... Probably the most consistent of the alcohols that I alcohols that I try, unless it's peanut butter whiskey, which I've tried a bunch of. Um, uh, it's already I've it's been done. Go check them out. Scroll through the playlist. Watch all the videos. Do all that stuff. Thanks. I appreciate it. Speaking of baked apple pie, that is one of the two flavors that we're going to be trying. It's a new brand called Excelsior. It's a word I can't even say. I can't even say it's sober. So how much worse is it going to get as we drink a bunch of alcohol? And by a bunch, I mean like a couple sips of two. Um, we have a baked apple pie, Excelsior, Imperial Apple, uh, Imperial Apple Pie. I thought that was going to be more descriptive. I apologize. <laughs> That's on me. It's 8.4% alcohol by volume. Now it's got this cool little giraffe and a space helmet. I like that. Uh, this was found at Fred Meyer. I... Um, I just kind of was walking around and uh, I just this just happened to catch my eye and I'm glad that I found it. Out of this world Excelsior, uh, adjective, ever upward. Space, the final frontier, with a thirst for adventure as vast as the universe itself. And the crew of the starship Schling, Schling, Schling? Great, at least I said Schling and not a different word. Uh, set out on a mission to create the apple pie of everyone's eye. Behold, Imperial Apple Pie. At 8.4% alcohol by volume, it's rich apple flavor that's sweet and lightly tart. Mixed with the warm notes of baking spices, baking spices is like taking a bite out of a freshly baked apple pie that's been blasted into orbit. This classic flavor makes per, uh, makes it perfect to enjoy year-round, whether you're baking, uh, basking. Okay, you could be baking, I guess. Uh, bake, bat, no, <clears throat> ba bu bu basking. In the glow of the nearby star, or cuddled up uh, in a space blanket watching shooting stars streak across the sky. Imperial apple pie, the apple of our eye and the pie in our sky. So, be a space cadet, grab a can, and let your taste buds take a rocket ride on the pie side for a cosmic journey beyond the stars. Now, the fun thing about this is it's actually it's made in the Pacific Northwest, which is very cool. Um, and I really appreciate, I, I could show the box, but I'm not going to, cause I took one of the cans out. So I'm going to spill them everywhere, which is my worry. 
What I like about the Imperials, just on the bottom of the box, it shows whether it's like sweet or, or tart or whether it's like a, a sparkling versus something else. There's like three measurings. So it feels like when I am a person buying this, I'm like looking at the bottom going like, okay, I prefer like the sweet to like the beer flavor. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's on the bottom. Oh, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Hold on. I wanted to be more informative. Sweetness versus dryness, acidity versus smooth, or sharp, sorry, sharp versus smooth, sweet versus dry, and sparkling versus still. Now, the third one I don't really understand, and if I'm being completely honest, the only one that I actually care about is the sweetness, um, because I want that far more sweet than dry. So, this one's on the sweeter side, so that was a good a good purchase by me, so... Let's uh, let's give this one a whirl, and I just I just wanted to throw that out there. I wanted to let them know that I appreciate that um, because, whoo, whoo, that was really loud. As a person who has a very very specific type of beverages that they're drinking, alcoholic beverages, I I really appreciate that. Um, hmm. I mean, it's it smells good. I like the scent of it. I I, I think it's. It's much stronger when it's like fresh cracked. I got like a pretty good like scent there, but I was like, oh man, what do I, what am I seeing? Or what am I seeing? What am I seeing with my nose? What am I smelling? What am I getting? And then I went back for like a second and a third sniff and I was like, Ooh, I don't smell anything, but I definitely got something the first time. I think it was a little more leaning toward the alcohol side and I'm sure, but I'm sure it's pretty apple heavy. Um, I guess the good comparison point would have been to get like their typical regular apple, um, apple or hard cider and then compare this to that for the apple pie aspect of it. Why weren't you thinking about this at Fred Meyer when you were doing this? Oh my goodness. Huh. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, it definitely feels like it's pretty smooth. It's, uh, it's nice. I don't feel like I'm getting much of like an alcohol taste, um, which is good. That's a big positive. I, I like it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I see it feels okay. So this is going to sound weird. Stick with me. It feels like there's a warmth to it. Like it is kind of hitting that, those like flavor notes that go like, Oh, it's like a warm apple pie. Even though it's a cold drink, it's like a warm apple pie. I like that. I'm a big fan of that. Am I just really cold? Is my soul so cold that this feels warm? You know what I mean? Hmm. It smells, it smells fine. It smells appley. It smells pretty strongly of apple. I guess I didn't think if I tipped the liquid forward, that would help. I would have spilled it all over my shirt. I would have absolutely done that. That's pretty solid. That's that's very solid. I like the way that that works. I like the way that tastes. <laughs> this is uh this is good. Good good for you. I don't know. see the thing is that I don't know that I'm I don't know. I think what do I think? What do I know? What do I think? I think <clears throat> that I would be having a bigger and better reaction if I didn't already have the baked apple pie, uh, angry orchards previously. I think this would be like, if you just flip the order in which I drink them, those reactions would correspond. So it's not like a big surprise. I really like the feel of it. It, it doesn't like, it's like such a smooth drink to it. I think that's a huge win. Like that's, this feels like a thing that I would drink a bunch of, you know? Um, 8.4% alcohol by volume, so I should be, I have to be careful on that. However, it doesn't, because it is like, it's not as acidic or whatever it is, like it just, it just goes down easy. Goes down smooth. I, if you'd like to put me in an ad shilling for your beers, I'd be like, it goes down smooth. Like that. You could do that. Now you can't show people drinking alcohol. On, I guess I could have done it like, like this here. It goes down smooth. 
That was that wasn't a good take. That wasn't a good take. Hold on, hold on. It goes down smooth. Nope, that still wasn't great, man. I was trying. I was kind of. I didn't even point it at the camera. Here, so you hold it in a way that you would never hold anything. This is how I. This is how I drink beer. How does it? I'm, try, I'm trying to think of Wayne's World when they're doing all the advertisements. Yeah, we don't sell that for like corporate shills. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's my favorite scene in the movie. We both know there's no film in this camera. It's a smooth finish. Nope. It goes down smooth. There we go. Nailed it. All right. Put me in your commercial shilling. Or, or, or send me a variety pack. There you go. There's a win. The second alcohol that we're going to be trying today is, in fact, a seasonal release. I'm just assuming that baked apple pie is a seasonal release from uh, from shilling. Just because baked apple pie typically relates to the fall. Um, I would like to see this around more. But if it is a fall flavor, then hey. I appreciate that you put that individually into a six pack. Hopefully we see it next year. Uh, But the second one that we're going to be trying is Incline Cider Company's seasonal release maple, pardon me, haze. This one family owned, crafted responsibly. What does that mean? (laughs) What is crafted responsibly? Does that mean people are uh, executing their safety commands correctly? What safety... It's not a command. Safety thing. Safety. Safety stuff. I'm thinking of a person, okay, and they're hanging above uh, the like a like a big thing where there's like a, a beer in it and you're cutting apples into it. That's what I'm thinking of. They're doing it safely with like correct harnesses knives that cut but aren't dangerously sharp whereas if it were um dangerously or crafted irresponsibly it would be like somebody balanced on the very edge of it like this like cutting it with a much sharper knife is that what that means (laughs) they're following safety procedures oh that's the word it's procedures oh my goodness whoo we did it we did it (laughs) we did it folks We, we found it all right uh, maple haze. This is also don't hit the can that you're gonna open. Why? Why? I just this one is also a new cider company that that I've not tried before. So we'll see what it is. I don't believe theirs had the helpfulness that the last one did. Uh, they did not. It says be nice, recycle, never. Never. Okay. Remember when I said I wasn't going to do that? Now I'm going to spill them all over the place. I picked them both up. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Quality craft cider. It goes down smooth. There you go. There's the ad. There it is. Eyes closed. It goes down smooth. Ooh, wow, this one has even less of a scent. The maple should be pouring through. Pouring through. Okay? <laughs> I'm not getting, like, anything. Yeah, I don't... I'm not getting anything out of that. Boy, I, maybe it's just I'm not... I'm, like, the expectation versus reality is all warped and warbled. But, like, this should be punching me in the nose. And it is not. Maybe I don't understand the concept of maple haze. Maybe I'm too much in like the regular. This doesn't have like any flavor at all. I. Um. What? I don't taste like any apple. This is just a liquid. This is just liquid that I have put in my body. I don't take, there's no alcohol taste, which I guess is a positive. I don't really get much of the maple flavor, if there is supposed to be any, which should be, if you're going to put maple inside, if you're going to put anything in anything, 
make that the focal point. I'm sure you could find clips of me saying something that contradicts that, but don't worry about it. I, what? I, I get, I get absolutely nothing out of this. Wow. Uh, okay. Hold on. We're going to take another sip of the Excelsior just to make sure it's not me that's wrong. No, <clears throat> there's, yeah, there's the flavor. It's not the, maybe not the strongest flavor in the world. Now they both, they both like, <clears throat> they both don't have, they're both smooth drinks and they both don't have a ton of alcohol taste, but like the maple haze feels like a really big miss. Um, but I would also argue that maybe the baked apple, baked apple pie isn't as strong a flavor as it probably should be. However, it just has like a, a it has enough taste and hits enough notes to where you like you real you know what you're drinking. Whereas if you had put the incline in like just a glass and said, what is that? I would have gone like, I don't know. I, like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, I, maybe I'm not understanding the concept behind the, uh, like the idea behind maple haze. I feel like if you're going to go like maple with an, like an apple cider, that's maple. Why am I not smelling it? Maple is a strong flavor. Maple is a punch punch you in the face flavor. Pardon me. Um, and I don't get that when I crack the, crack the can and I don't really taste a whole lot of anything when I take the drink. So yeah, kind of a, kind of a mixed bag here. Um, if you were going to try the two, I would suggest the shilling. However, I would argue that even though I don't have it on me immediately, I would argue that the Angry Orchard baked apple pie was better, so I would start with that one. However, those fall haul packs that the Angry Orchard does aren't always the best, and if you just want a, ba a baked apple pie, I don't think the shilling is a bad choice by any means. I would totally and completely pass on the incline because it just didn't do anything at all. Both of them have smooth finishes. Neither of them is terribly alcoholy on like a flavor profile really at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, kind of a, kind of a hit or miss. Interesting. Did you try either of these? Would you like to try either of these again? I found these at Fred Meyer. So check that place out if you would like to. And if you go down, if you go to Fred Meyer, you're at Fred Meyer, you're walking up and down the aisles or Kroger store in general, and you go down the soda aisle and you look at the Jones soda and you happen to think of your old pal content creating six, four, Sean, and you see the chocolate and orange Jones soda, will you please get in contact with me? Buy one, buy 12, don't buy 12, buy a couple, send one to me, find it, please. I'm asking kindly, <laughs> pretty please. If, if you see that, please let me know where it is. That is like, that's kind of, that's the golden item right now. The golden exit here is to tell you to be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. Let me know down in the comments below if there's something you'd like to see on the channel, what it is, where to find it, and you might see it on a future episode of Taste Test. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We will see you next week with another exciting installment of Taste Test. And as always, bon appetit.